The next portion is on cruise optimization. Cruise optimization is more about definition and understanding how and why we choose the different levels that we do. We will define in this part of the presentation the cost index, what it is and how it's calculated, maximum altitude for the aircraft, recommended max altitude, what is an optimum altitude, and what is step climbing. Starting with the cost index. Cost index is a way for an operator to define a value which gives a ratio between the cost of time to the cost of fuel. I have two options when I want to fly payload from A to B. I can either do it in the least amount of time, the fastest way possible, but that is going to cost me a lot in terms of fuel burn. I'm going to be flying at a faster speed with the highest power setting. On the other hand, I could do a low cost operation where my target is to save as much as possible while still getting people to the same or their cargo to the same destination. It will take longer, but I'll preserve fuel. Whether or not I want to aim for the cost of time or the cost of fuel depends on the operation. With a cost index value being programmed into the MCDU, the flight management and guidance system can, for individual phases of that flight, calculate specific speeds and burn-offs to give the best and most optimized operation. The cost index introduces what we call an economy speed. If you have not inserted a cost index into your MCDU and flight management and guidance system, then the aircraft will use a standard profile of 250, 300, Mach 0.7, 8 in climb, then cruise at Mach 0.78, and then the reverse down on the other side during the descent. But if you have inserted a cost index, it introduces a new speed called economy speed. It's economy speed below approximately flight level 250, and it becomes economy mark above. Flying at an optimum altitude, flying with an economy speed, all goes a long way to preserve fuel or time for the given operation. The ranges for cost index goes between 0 and 999. Inserted manually into the MCDU, done through the pre-flight phase on the init page, and then can be verified and altered through the different phases. Here we can see the entry point on the fifth key on the init A page. We have inserted a cost index of 30. Now if I insert a cost index here on the init page, it will use that cost index throughout the entire flight, applying it to all the different phases. But if I want to be specific about the individual phases and their cost index, I can go into the performance pages for climb, cruise, and descent. And I can alter the cost index individually here. When we are flying, we can use the cost index to gain time if we have, for example, been delayed for departure. We may be able to catch up some time in the air. This can be done by changing the cost index. You will be sacrificing fuel for the catch up, but that might be a small price to pay for an airline in terms of delays at your destination. The cost index goes from 0 to 999. Inserting a cost index of 0 gives you maximum range. You're flying now at the minimum speed and the speed will be approaching the green dot speed for the aircraft. This is also what we consider minimum fuel consumption. You are going to be going to your destination in the longest possible time. On the other hand, if I were to insert a cost index of 999, the speed would be approaching the maximum speed, V max, for the aircraft. This gives me minimum range because I will be having a very high fuel burn-off, but I will be getting there in the shortest possible time. So what is your aim? Are you aiming to get there fast, or are you aiming to get there in the least amount of money in terms of operation? Inserting a cost index introduces a new speed, and inserting a cost index of zero is not the same as not putting a cost index in at all. 
the cost index is not mandatory in terms of setting up the MCDU, but inserting zero means you get maximum range. Inserting nothing, you simply get the standard performance from the aircraft. As a crew, always use the secondary flight plan to change values in flight for the cost index. If you change the cost index on the init page or the performance pages right away, then it will have an impact directly on the current flight conditions. Crew can use the secondary flight plan to see what values will give them the time and fuel burn off that they require for the given set of circumstances. This was a short video on a specific topic. If you want to see the full video or see the hundreds of videos we made available for professional content on aviation theory, head on to our e-learning academy at academy.mindspacex.com. And don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button to follow us. We're going to be putting out these videos regularly.